Excuse me, I am in the car and I am getting ready to travel. So I am literally just trying to make sure I get this video done because I know that there are people who are truly seeking freedom. And first and foremost, I want to tell you that this freedom truly only comes by way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me first tell you how uh, the spirit of perversion can enter a marriage. Uh, these are just some ways, but there are definitely many ways being when you are a child, uh, viewing things uh, that are perverted also opens the door for the spirit of perversion to have access into your life, uh, trauma, um, and not only that, unforgiveness. When someone offends you, whoo, it's gonna fall. When someone offends you, uh, you uh, and you not forgiving them, uh, we have to understand the Bible talks about this, that uh, it's, it's better to agree with your adversary quickly because if you don't, you will be given over to the tormentors. So with that being said, a spirit of uh, uh, you lacking to forgive someone can actually hinder you from freedom and not only that, it actually will in fact distort your lens or the way that you view life relationships so on and so forth even the very word of God you guys it gets deep and deeper than you deeper than you think but anyway three of the ways that can truly uh, open the door to spiritual or to a, a spirit of perversion is sexual immorality in all of its forms adultery fornication homosexuality bestiality these are all uh, sexual immorality biblically sexually sexual immorality also uh, pornography also pornography as well as uh, sexual abuse so as stated when I was uh, younger I was molested um, and so uh, due to that that caused a spirit of perversion to have access into my life based off of the trauma that I went through but not only that um, also being introduced to pornography as well as uh, committing infidelity sexual immorality uh, it lingered in my life for a very long time and it really wasn't until I uh, joined Tiffany Montgomery's ministry during uh, about 2021 but sh I remember her uh, sharing a book with us and I truly began to pray those prayers in that book I'm going to put it right here please make sure that you take a look at it and you go and look at it for yourself and read it it's very deep it even goes into spirit spouses you guys um, but there are prayers in there uh, that can help you pray remember you're not relying on these prayers whenever someone is giving you prayers is actually meant to uh, give you Holy Spirit strategy on how to pray uh, to attack a thing you guys I mean you should be able to see like a sniper in the spirit when you pray these types of prayers but anyway this is how a spirit of perversion can enter a marriage due to you either doing these things still doing these things or uh, what you have endured or went through as a child or even before you got married this spirit can can linger into your marriage and its ultimate goal is to uh, warp your your judgment as well as taint your intimacy so um, I want to just kind of give you an example here uh, Jesus told the disciples or like they couldn't cast out the spirit and uh, they he literally told them he said you unbelieving and perverse generation how long shall I be with you what he was saying was you literally have a distorted view how can you not you literally cannot see that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Not only that, those who believe in me shall cast out death. Like he's saying, you can't see. You have a distorted view. And so that's ultimately exactly what uh, the spirit of perversion does is it warps your judgment so much so that you can't even uh, see rightly that's one of the the things that the lord was definitely talking about when he said this in there um but not only that uh, the bible also talks about how uh they have eyes that they can't they have eyes but can't see they have um uh, they have um they have ears they can't hear ultimately this is exactly what perversion does it distorts your vision it distorts your hearing it distorts literally everything this is uh, I'll give you an example as far as marriage when it comes to one being married you may even ha like I'll, I'll give you an example when I was with when before before getting deliverance I would have issues with my husband like touching me and it's like woman you know you should watch your husband to touch you he's your husband but it was almost like I couldn't stand the fact that he would touch me I always felt like he wanted something it would bother me because I was still dealing with the trauma and not only that seeing things through a distorted view 
And so ultimately, this is what the Lord was showing that, hey, you've got to get out of this because although I do believe that one being not wanting to be touched, they one can definitely be discerning a spirit of, dis, uh, of perversion, especially if a spouse is, a spouse is uh, watching pornography uh, in the uh, in, in the marriage, um, especially while having there's an because this is a thing you know, when a spouse is watching pornography within the marriage, you're ultimately tainting your view anyway, the way that you see your spouse. So, uh, you know, you, you're having, you will, you will have vain imaginations. And, and also I do believe an unhealthy appetite for sex. Um, so I do definitely just want to point that out there, but try to make this quick because my camera literally keeps dying, but I want to say this. Uh, so how do you get rid of this? All right, so first and foremost, Foremost, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you need to do that. And second off, if you are a believer of the Lord Jesus Christ, if you um, truly believe, have believed, I'm telling you, you cannot doubt because remember, he said, you unbelieving and perverse generation. Okay, so you have to believe that this can be broken by the power, by the finger of God. Not only that, you need to renounce uh, any and all agreements that you are in with the spirit of perversion. And let me tell you this, if you've had sex in your dreams with any type of, of person, literally in your dreams, nine times out of 10, not only are you uh, committed to a demon, but you, this actually is in fact an open door to the spirit of perversion and then three um also making sure that you are not viewing certain things um that you're just not supposed to look at because let's just be honest this can come by way of viewing things and watching certain things that you just shouldn't um again i like to bring up pornography if you are seeing naked people on your phones and things like that social media all that dancing twerking all that stuff cut it shut it off um, again, another thing is forgiveness. You come out of agreement with this thing through forgiveness and truly begin to forgive this person, I'm not telling you to go and bake a cake for them and make your relationship all just like your best friends. No, I'm saying that you need to forgive them because why? This is actually blocking you and hindering you from having true freedom in Christ Jesus. As a matter of fact, it's stunting your growth and the Lord really is wanting to mature you but he's not going to he's he's not even going to um he's not going to force himself on on your will you have the freedom and and the will to either forgive or not forgive and so i just wanted to make that very clear i am definitely going to be talking about this with a friend i'm believing next week i just got off of the uh phone with her or i was texting her and we're definitely going to talk about this, I believe, on Instagram Live, uh, my sister in Christ. Um, but please make sure that you stay tuned uh, for that. Uh, I pray that you kind of follow on Instagram to make sure that you don't miss anything that the Lord may want you uh, to see. But I do want to tell you, make sure that you are weighing everything that I'm saying by the word of God. Uh, you know, make sure that you study to show yourself approved and also make sure that you are closing the door to any and everything that has given this spirit access into your marriage. Because again, what it ultimately wants to do is to, it warps your judgment, which is keeping you from knowing each other. And then two, so everything that you'll say, it's like every Everything that this person says will always be perverted in you to your in your eyes and then and, and in your mind and then two what it wants to do is contaminate your intimacy it's trying to infiltrate your intimacy um, and that is what you, you don't want that so then you're always going to be felt or left empty especially during that time of intimacy you'll feel like the other person got what they needed and you are just without and that is just the truth that's what happens and um, this is why, you know, I mean, I could go so much further on this, but I just wanted to make this to just really kind of talk to you guys about it and give you as much as I possibly could before I leave. I am definitely going to be um, making a video, Lord's will, I should say, making a vi another video on this as the Lord leads, because I do believe that this is something that he is speaking about as many are bound by this, uh, not only in marriage, but literally in life. It is time to break free. I can preach of this freedom because the Lord has set me free and he has in fact revealed to me that 
the the ways on how this thing can really come in but anyway stay tuned god bless you guys and i will talk to you soon